Before doing any exothermic welding, please review the enclosed mold instructions for procedures that cover basic safety instructions, such as wearing proper clothing, safety glasses, and gloves. Check the mold tag to verify correct mold application and the proper weld metal cartridge size. Insert the mold handle clamps into the mold and secure by tightening the thumb screws into the mold. Clean the connection points on the rebar and conductor, removing any oil, grease and rust that might be present. These connection points should be bright, shiny and dry. A hand torch may be used when drying connection points, but care should be taken not to apply the torch directly to the connection points because direct heat can oxidize the surface which may affect the quality of the connection. If the cable is corroded, a card cloth brush will assist in preparing the surface. Rebar can be cleaned with a coarse file or grinder. Neglecting thorough cleaning is one of the most common reasons for failed exothermic connections. Depending on the type of connection being welded, a wrap sleeve or packing pad will be needed. When wrap sleeves are required, wrap the full sleeve around the rebar. Molds are designed to accept the full length of the sleeve. If the sleeve length is reduced, leakage of molten weld metal may occur. If your application is welding to a number 8 rebar or larger, more than one wrap sleeve will be required. Wrap sleeves should not be placed directly below the center of the mold cavity. Molten weld metal should come in contact with the rebar directly when falling from the mold crucible. All exothermic molds should be torch dried before the first use of the day or after the mold has sat for more than three hours. Position conductors in the mold and lock the mold with the handle clamp. Insert the weld metal cartridge into the crucible and close the lid. Attach US controller cable to the end of the cartridge igniter. Depress both ignition buttons on the controller to ignite the weld metal. Wait 30 seconds before opening the mold to allow the weld metal to solidify. After releasing the completed connection from the mold, clean the mold with a natural bristle brush or soft cloth before making your next weld. Harger molds create an H and U on all exothermic connections, giving inspection personnel a clear visual indicator that one has created the lowest resistance and highest quality exothermic connection available in the industry.